Welcome ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. That would be me. And today's video is on the top 10 dry goods that you as a prepper should have in your pantry to put up for long food storage that will last forever or pretty damn close. That's what we're striving for. If you're putting food up for an emergency type situation, you want to make sure it's going to be there when you need it. Whether that be tomorrow or 20 years from now. You want to make sure that you have something to put in your belly. So, before we get going on this list, let's go over a few quick little tidbits of information and a few tips. Okay, with any of these do here said products that I'm going to be talking about, you will need to store them properly. Being either in a vacuum sealed bag, a mason jar that you can vacuum seal, or a mylar bag 5 mil to 7 mil and with an oxygen absorber. Now, not all these said products do require oxygen absorbers, so I would suggest you go back through and check out some of my playlists and you will find information about those products. Now, with anything that is on this here video, I do have a lot of different videos. They are segregated into some different playlists for your benefit and to make air viewing pleasure a lot easier so you can find what you're looking for in a timely manner. There are over 200 and some odd videos on my channel right now and we are growing. So thank everyone for that. So without further ado, let's get going on the top 10 dry goods that will last forever or pretty damn close. Number one is salt. Salt is something that you want to make sure that you always have plenty of. Now, you also want to make sure that you have all the different types of salt. Iodine salt and regular salt are the two that you want to make sure that you have the most of. And you want to make sure that if you do do canning or you're going to plan on having some type of a garden that you're going to have to can and put this stuff up, you're going to want to make sure you have canning salt, kosher salt, sea salt, all this different types of stuff, but make sure you have plenty of regular salt because in the chance that there is something drastic that has happened and say you are catching fish or you're going out and hunting little Bambi running down the road, um, you need some way to preserve that food if you do not have any way to generate power and salt preserves food, period. Number two, dried beans. Dry beans of any kind. If you like cowboy beans, by all means, buy cowboy beans. Red kidney beans, go ahead, stock up. Black beans, split peas, whatever kind of bean it is, as long as it is dry and not in a can, you are good to go. Make sure that you do store those properly and they will last forever. Number three. White rice. White rice is the only rice that will outlast you and me both. Between the two of us, it'll still outlast us. Now, do not store brown rice or jasmine rice or any other kind of rice besides regular white rice. Now, it could be a long grain white rice, but just make sure that it is white rice only because after a year or so, the oils that are in all the other different types of rice, AKA brown rice, jasmine, and all these, they will cause the whole thing to go rancid and unusable. So stick to white rice only. Number four, this is for all you Italians or anybody who just loves pasta, which is probably just about everybody out there. Pasta is number four. Pasta, if you store that in a Marlar bag with an oxygen absorber, do not leave it in the box that it comes in. That will not last longer than a year. Okay, so you got to make sure that you put it in a Marlar bag with an oxygen absorber, and that will be around forever. 
you always have a means to have pasta. And for some people, that is very important. Number five, rolled oats, the old-fashioned kind. Now, we're not talking the instant stuff that you can buy nowadays where you just add this little bit of water and you're good to go. You got to get the regular rolled oats, the old fashioned kind. And those there, if stored properly, will last forever. You'll always be able to have your muffins or your oatmeal in the morning, whichever one you do choose. But it'll be there for you when you need it. Number six is sugar. Now, if it's a grid down type situation, I'm sure that everyone out there is going to need a little sweetening up. So make sure that you have plenty of sugar on hand because sugar does come in hand for a lot of different things. Number seven, instant coffee. Now, a lot of people don't like instant coffee, but in an emergency type situation, whatever it may be, if you're able to have a hot cup of coffee by just adding a little water to it with a couple spoons full of instant coffee, well then, life just got a little bit better, didn't it? Even if the sun isn't shining. So you want to make sure that you have instant coffee. The reason instant coffee will last forever, because if you ever really actually read the front of the little can there on the instant coffee, it says freeze dried. So that will last forever. Number eight, everybody's favorite, powdered milk. Now, powdered milk, if you take it out of the carton it comes in and you put it into a one Mallar bag or two if you vacuum seal it either in a vacuum sealed bag or in a canning jar, which would be the preferable way to do it, this way here, powdered milk will last indefinitely. And a little tidbit there, I have brought up before in a couple of my videos when I've talked about powdered milk, a little bit of sugar into your powdered milk makes it taste a whole lot better. Remember that. Take a little note. You know, sometimes people take cliff notes. Not nowadays, you just rewatch the video, right? Number nine, cornstarch. Now, we could do a whole video on cornstarch and what cornstarch can do. So we're not going to do that. You guys can all go and search and find your own little information about cornstarch and all the different things it does besides making gravy. But in this situation here, if it is an emergency type situation and you had to cook something and you wanted to make gravy, cornstarch is the way to go. This way here adds a little flavor, adds a little spice, makes everything nice. So having cornstarch and storing it properly will last for a very long time, if not forever, if you do it properly. And number 10, everybody's favorite at some point in time in your life, ramen noodles. Now, a lot of people don't like the ramen noodles because of the whole fact of those little packets that they come with, you know, all the different flavorings. Well, when you really start looking at the sodium intake in that thing, it's enough to kill a horse. But if it was an emergency type situation, you may need that sodium. Your body needs sodium to survive and function and everything else. But if you don't, and you can have some way to make your own gravy or something, the, the ramen noodle itself will last forever, just like pasta. So you have two things you can do. You can either just eat just the noodles, or if you already have your own sauce, you can have the noodles, or if you don't, you can always use the fun little flavor pack, open them up and put them in to your food for a nice, delicious, warm meal to keep you going and keep you alive. So this has been the top 10 dry goods that will last forever are pretty damn close. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I would like to thank everybody for watching my videos, for subscribing to my channel. I would also like to thank everybody for hitting the like button and sharing this with all your friends, families, and anybody else that you may know on your social media, however you would like to do it. I greatly appreciate it, and it helps get the word out there about this community. So until next time, you all stay safe. You keep prepping. 
Keep in mind the top 10 in dry goods that will outlast you and me. Until then, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Oh, 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 oh